I'm going to pack this bin with stuff I'm going to store at my parents house. These are all winter items that will be of no use to me in LA. Here are some books I've made in the past that are sentimental to me and that I'm going to keep. I don't know if you've seen this rainbow book in a past video, um, but I used to display this on um, at craft shows in my early days. These guys are my early prototypes of the um, ladder stitch and the this the stitching style on the cover. Here's a Chiyogami book. This was my first ever book gifted to my mom in grade three. This felt stab bound book um, was when I was experimenting with felt. These guys are keepers, made them this year. These are old journals and planners from the last several years. A cookie cat book from Steven Universe. It was so hard to make the curved edges and the shape. This one is not made by me, but I had this throughout the first couple years of my business and I, um, these are all recordings from my markets and what I've sold and jotting down ideas and booth layouts and stuff like that. This is a fun one, um, 2018. So I started to offer custom made books and this is a sample book of what they could get. Um, so I would have the different pages in here and then um, offer the different Chiyogami patterns for covers. I think it'll just be fun to look at years from now. This is my plant press book. I sold these early on as well. It's in the back of my mind. I might um, try to improve on the design and release them again. I don't know. So the plant press is in the middle and then there's some blotting paper here and um, two cardboard pieces to for the clamping and drying. And then the rest of the pages are for um, pasting the botanical pieces on. This is the only leather book I have. It's a gift from a friend who made it themselves. I showed this little guy on Instagram. Um, it's a traveler's notebook for little Muji books and I actually brought it with me to my trip in Taiwan and Japan. So I have um, receipts and stuff like that. There's a layer of fleece in between to make it all um, puffy and cushy and I made these knots as well. Okay, I think these are all the books that I'm going to store. Three days later. I'm almost done with packing up my studio. Uh, in this corner I have containers and boxes to donate. I'm going to store my guillotine. This is my studio in a box basically. I'm gonna bring these two rolls of paper. I'm almost done with emptying this little corner here. I've got art paper that I'm going to probably give away for free. So I'm feeling much more relieved. It was super chaotic not too long ago. Almost there.
I'm back in LA. Welcome to the studio if you haven't seen me here yet. I said goodbye to my Vancouver home and studio and now this is where I'll be living. We did a road trip from Vancouver which took about four days, three nights. This trip was pretty uneventful. Um, we just took the I-5 straight down. Over a year ago we did the same trip but took the scenic route along the Oregon and California coast. I vlogged a lot more of that trip and I think the video turned out really wonderfully. Um, it holds a special place in my heart because it marks our um, big decision to officially move here. So it's the week leading up to New Year's and I'm going to take it easy. I haven't been working. Actually, no, that's a lie. <laughs> um, I've been working on my Patreon, which has been uh, really new and fun and exciting so far. I'm also doing my first live stream on New Year's Day. I wanted my first live stream um, to be with a smaller group of people just so that I can test things out and work out the kinks. It's starting to get dark in here, so I'll check in with you on another day. Lucy. I spent all morning testing out my live stream setup and I probably tried uh, a dozen times doing private live streams just so that I can um, test all the levels and ev make sure everything looks good. Um, but the very last one I forgot to hit private and so everyone got a notification that I was live streaming. Apologies about that. I am going to live stream to the public hopefully soon. Um, we, I think I'm good to go for the patrons only live stream on New Year's Day. So let me show you what I have set up. So I've got my black magic here on a tripod and then I'll be showing my face on the webcam of my MacBook. Um, and I'll be showing my work over here. This is my sample embroidery for the winter themed book I want to make on stream. I wanted to create a snowy house and it ended up looking more like a gingerbread house which I might actually lean into but we'll see. I'm going to um, try again. So what I want to do is put this little house in here and probably on a white background. So I'm, go I'm going to... 